Hello everyone and welcome back to another video if you're new here. My name is Sofia, nice to meet you. And today we are filming the end of the year book tag. It's my very first year that I'm doing these. I was actually gonna film a December TBR, but then I saw this tag and it's pretty much like a December TBR, but it would be a perfect video for the first bookmas kind of video so here we are without further ado let's just get it started i thought these videos were uploaded towards the end of the year but everyone's uploading it so i was like let's jump in the hype also before starting please answer these questions with me in the comments let me know what you think about my picks or what you would have picked for the questions because i always love knowing what you want to read before the year ends the first question is are there any books you started this year that you need to finish. I really don't know if this question is about my physical TBR that I haven't actually read yet or the books that I started that I haven't finished. Currently reading Myth House. That blog is probably up already, but I'm currently in the middle of that. There's no books that I've DNF, only Lake's Edge. I'm just gonna take these as a book that I wanted to read this year, but haven't actually gotten to it yet. And that's gonna be the Nate Circus by Erin Morgerstern. This is a book that has been the longest time on my physical TBR. I think it's about four years now that it's been on my shelves and I haven't yet read it. And I don't know why, because it's a book that I know I'm going to adore. At the beginning of the year, I set this goal that I will read this book this year. And I left it to the last month because I'm definitely reading this in December. It gives me Christmassy vibes. I don't know why. I think it's because it's so magical and whimsical. It's definitely something that I want to get done before the year ends. I don't really know what it's about. I know it's about a circus, it's magical. Everyone seems to really really enjoy it so I cannot wait to start it. So definitely look forward to a blog for Bookmas reading The Knit Circus. The next question is do you have an ode Otomo, I don't know how to pronounce that word, book to transition into the end of the year. I hate Christmas books. I love Christmas movies and how bad they are, how enjoyable they are at the same time, but I don't really like Christmas books. So what I normally do in December is either rereading or read books that give me Christmas vibes, but they are not actually set on Christmas like I just told you with the Night Circus. I normally reread my favorites in December, that being A Strange to Dreamer, which I'm planning to read this year. But I don't really know how to answer this question. I'm gonna give just a bunch of books that I feel is nice to read them like under a cozy blanket and then you're probably gonna adore. My first recommendation is Heartless by Marisa Mayer. This is a retelling of the Queen of Hearts and Alice in Wonderland retelling about the story of how she became the Queen of Hearts. It's super atmospheric reading, it's also heartbreaking, it's magical, the writing is so whimsical. And Marisa Mayer is one of the queens of retellings. She actually came up with a new book, Gilded, which I also want to read. I think that would be also really nice for the weather. But I think it's just the book that you need to read under a blanket, like really cozy and getting really, really into the book. If you are into thrillers, I will also recommend The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. Don't know if I pronounced that word right. Really difficult for me to pronounce but this is a thriller about a woman that would sell poisons to women just to get revenge on men that have wronged them it's a dual timeline where you are following her in the past and then another character in the future discovering the secret of this lost apothecary it was amazing the audiobook was also really really good i listened to it in like three days and it was one of not my best reads of 2021 but one book that i really did enjoy and i think i haven't talked about enough in this channel the writing was super atmospheric i loved how the past and the future kind of intertwine in the story and you learn about this character that have lived in misery for her whole life and how in the future she wants to make it right for that character in the past it was amazing atmospheric and i think it's perfect for this time of the year quite fast read as well more atmospheric book i will also say the kingdom of the back by mary lou is a mozart retelling so it's about the sister of mozart and they discovered this quite magical world i don't know how to describe this book it gives me major strange to dreamer vibes i think it's getting to a point where all the books i'm telling you are just really atmospheric for the time and then this one might not before everyone, but I don't know why. I always want to reread and read the ashes by the end of the year. It's because it's a fantasy, it's really fast and it's like really creeping and it's also a classic format of YA novel. But with 
trials and the different aspects of the story. I know everyone has read this book at this point, but, but I'm gonna keep talking about it because it was that good. Let's move to the next question because I don't even know if I'm answering this question right. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Not really waiting for, just a release that I haven't yet read and that is this came out at the beginning of the year and I bought it straight away and I haven't yet read it because I always do that. I never read the books that I'm excited to read. I keep pushing them and reading other stuff. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to this in December because I don't really feel like it's a December read, but I'm still really, really excited to read it. It's about these two sisters that I think have grown apart. And at some point, one of the sisters it's diagnosed with cancer and they, they kind of get together again. I think it follows their relationship as well as a bunch of other topics. I love Mary H.K. Choi writing and I know I'm gonna adore this book. I just, as I said, I always push the books that I'm really, really excited to read. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So that will be The Night Circus, that also will be A Strange the Dreamer. But if I can finish one series before the year ends, that will be The Poppy War series by Art of Guang. I read The Poppy War at the beginning of the year. It wrecked me. I was sobbing. It was such an impactful read that I will never forget. It's definitely one of the best books of 2021. I just didn't know if I was prepared to continue the series. I wanted to give it a time before I started the second book, which was The Dragon Republic, but I never got to it. I got caught up in university and work and I actually never got to it basically. If there's two books that I want to read this month is The Dragon Republic and The Burning God. I don't know if I'm gonna get to both, probably just The Dragon Republic because I also don't want to rush this series. I think it's one of those series that you don't want to rush the books. But yeah, The Dragon Republic definitely on my TBR for this month. Also, I would add in here The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by B.E. Schwab. If you'll remember that blog last year where I was so excited to read it, it was my, my most anticipated release of the year, another B.E. Schwab book. I'm a huge fan of her, but then I never read it. <laughs> I never actually got to it. I don't make promises, maybe. Bully me in the comments just to read these, please. <laughs> Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yeah, I think it could, but there's there's a big competition in my TBR this year and it's been really hard to be favorites because I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it because I read so many genres and for me like a romance novel maybe it's not at the same level as a fantasy novel but I love them the same so I don't know how I'm gonna do it this year. I do believe The Night Circus could become one of my favorites. I also think I mean A Strange to the Dreamer wouldn't count because you know but The Atlas Six is on the list. I love that book so maybe not maybe yes we'll see we'll see. <laughs> and the last question of this book tag is have you already started making reading plans for next year? I have. <laughs> So I started my reading journal already, which I'm filming for all of you, so that will be up during Bookmas. But I'm already looking into new releases, I'm already looking into my TBR and the books on my shelf that um, I want to read and the books that I want to get. So definitely, I'm a planner. I plan in advance. I have plans for the next year. I want to read a bunch of books and I want to make a bunch of content because this year has been incredible and you all being incredible and supportive and i just wanted to keep that love and support back so yes i'm ready for the next year and that's pretty much it for today's book tag i hope you liked it it was a quite fast book talk but i thought it was fun just to begin book month if you have made it this far in this video let's post the christmas tree emoji for book month. and yeah let me know in the comments what you're reading on december thank you so much for all the support. As always, if you want to keep updated with my reads, I have a good read. I also have Bookstagram where I post daily and I just updated my Etsy shop with a bunch of Christmas cards and tote bags. So if you want to check it out just to buy some Christmas presents for someone, just go check it out. That's gonna be all for today. I love you guys as always and I'll see you in the next one.